Get this figure at the Chosen Prime. Link is down in the description. Go. Now. What's going on, gang? Paul Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at Toy World Spanner. This is Toy World's version of Springer, and the rocket car mode is how it's packaged, and it looks pretty good. It does roll with no problem whatsoever. Well, maybe a little bit. The wheels are nice and rubbery on both the front and the back wheels, and overall, I think it looks pretty good. It comes with a couple of accessories, his giant sword slash helicopter blades, and two weapons which mount on the side in car mode. The car mode also sports these weapons out front which are incredibly difficult to pop up. The one side will pop up with a little bit of force. The other side does pop up, but the first time it popped up, it was incredibly difficult to move. And then I was able to pop it up using some, well, extra force than I wanted to. And now it opens and closes with no problem. The overall aesthetic of the rocket car mode works pretty well. However, the rocket car does not hold together well in the back at all. As you can see, it's already split apart. Every time I push them back together and try to get all, everything lined up, it always pops apart. So I just kind of leave it like that. The wheels also have a tendency to come unpegged. The peg here, which is right there, pegs into the side there, does not peg in very snugly. You might also see online that this has been transformed a couple of different ways. This way, with the little piece pointing perpendicular to the actual unit, is the way you're supposed to. But end, I end up doing it with just angling it in a little bit. It just works better and holds together better that way. Rocket car mode is pretty good, even though it doesn't hold together all that well. The canopy also opens really easily, but I don't have anything small enough to fit in there. The transformation into helicopter mode is pretty easy. We'll start at the back here, fold the, well, the tail fin out and the wheels. Simply rotate the wheels up into the body like that. Bring these sections around and peg them into place and peg them together. And they snap into place. That will allow you to come up and fix whatever problems are here up under the undercarriage. Then come back to the rotors, get these sections combined, flip them closed, and then position the tail wings like that. Now we've got this weird mermaid car mode that I like to call it. So what we're going to do is turn the figure upside down, take this little panel here and flip it up just a little bit, come to the sides of the car mode, flip these yellow sections up as far as they will go like that, and then reach underneath and pull out these giant gray blocks and fold them out to the outside of the front of the vehicle mode. Then grab the fronts here and unpeg them like so. Fold these green sections down that were on the top of the car mode. Reattach the feet because to the midsection because they always come undone. Pull these gray sections up and peg them into place. Flip out the little runner there and then scissor the entire section all the way back until it pegs into that peg and you could fold down these rear yellow sections like that. Once the sections are done, you take the entire rocket car section, slide it back as far as it'll go, come to the undercarriage. This green piece will flip down, but be careful because, well, mine is missing a pin here. And this will flip down and then the green, other green piece will peg into place, holding it all together. And then we come to the front and pull out the front of the helicopter mode. And finally, we grab the sword, get a fingernail in there, and split it in half. And put it on top of the copter mode. Whee! The copter mode is pretty good looking. I have to say of the two modes, it's definitely my favorite. It still rolls a little bit, and you can even extend the wheels at the back there to make it roll even better if you wish. Overall, I think the copter mode looks pretty good. Rotor spins with no problem. The overall aesthetic is fine. However, this thing does not hold together well at all. The front here has a tendency to push back into the body all the time. The green piece under here is missing a pin, as I said, so that flops around. The legs don't stay combined together all that well. And the back here just pops off very, very easily. It, there's, I could just run my finger along the back and it falls out of place. Oh, and the wings on the back don't peg in at all. They just kind of move back and forth. Overall, though, I think the aesthetic is quite good, but the quality control of the figure doesn't feel all that great. You can also mount the guns in the same spot in this mode. 
Spanner's transformation into robot mode is interesting. It's not that hard either, thankfully, though lining up the sword sometimes is. Urgh, come on. So to start with, we're gonna come to the back. First, push up the rocket section and answer the texts on your phone. Next, we come to the back of the vehicle mode, unpeg these sections like this. Take the wings and fold them up along the side, making sure that the wheels are fully folded up. Grab the leg, well, what be, will be the legs, and grab this whole section, fold it out and around. Now, this is where things get a little weird. This section is supposed to fold up into here. We grab that whole section, flip it up, flip it around, and then flip it down. And that's where these come into play because they will form the robot heels. So we just have to get that flipped up, flipped around, and in, and pegged into place on the inside of the leg. And we do the same thing for this side. Next, we come up to the arms, and this is where things get a little bit creaky, and I mean creaky. So first, we're gonna fold down the front skirts like that and snap them into place. Grab the green section and fold that up and snap that into place. And then take the arms and slide them forward, collapse the front section there, come up to the front of the figure, fold, start folding the chest down, open up this little panel here, and then push the robot head up and through, and that will allow us to bring the panel down. But first, we've gotta move the shoulders up and out of the way so we could get these little green pieces folded out just a smidge so that we fold the chest in, peg it into place, and then can close the green sections on those little green pegs there holding the chest section in place. Reach inside here, past all the, uh, whatever that white powder is, and flip out this panel, and that panel will peg right into the bottom of his head. Once the panel is pegged into the bottom of the head, we can then move to the shoulders. First, we're going to grab the sections behind the arms and these things, flip them all the way up and slide them as far forward as they will go. Sometimes they don't want to move at all. Then flip up the front areas, turn the shoulders, grab the arms, and then push the green up into the inside of that section there. Then we kind of have to fold it out first. So fold out the arms, push that forward, peg it into place, and then hopefully we can now slide that section up. Yes. Then we come to the arms, turn them, and then flip out the fists that are inside the forearms. The last bit to do with the shoulders is to fold them up. Ah into place, but you have to be careful because every time you want to move them or fold them, they slide up and down like that way, way too easily. And here we have Spanner in robot mode. He does look pretty good, though it definitely doesn't look anything like the G1 cartoon, more like the G1 toy. It's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Head sculpt is quite good. He does come with a different face, but I prefer this face because the getting the faces on and off this thing are impossible. You have to first lean his head all the way back, remove this panel, flip it all the way up, and get a knife, like a butter knife, in there to pop the face out. It is not easy to get that face changed out. Spanner is rocking some fantastic light piping. The figure has a decent range of posability. He can look down that much. He can look up that much. Shoulders move forward and back and squeak. His in and out movement, though it is a little bit limited. Swivel at the upper arm that squeaks badly. Over 90 degree bend at the elbow. Fist swivels. Hands open and close at the four finger digit. They are on two separate pins. Thumb is on a nice ball joint. There is torso articulation. Legs move forward that much. Legs move out that much. 90 degree bend at the ratchet joint of a knee. Toes are on a ball joint. You can get some decent posability out of this guy, but all of the shoulder joints squeak like mad. Also, you have to contend with the giant backpack and giant shoulder bits that you've got hanging off there. You can fold those shoulder bits in and peg them into place. Hopefully, they will not move around, though that is not the way the directions say to do it. You are supposed to keep them flipped all the way out. 
The overall aesthetic of the figure is okay, and as I said, I feel that this is more of a redo of the original G1 toy rather than the character. Also, the figure is covered in this white powder that I'm assuming it's powder that allows the figure pieces or the pieces to come out of their molds as opposed to something more deadly. The big issue I have with this figure is its quality control. It doesn't feel well put together. All of these shoulder joints flop around in weird ways. The panels here in the chest don't feel good. And nothing holds together all that well in either of the vehicle modes, which is really strange because I've gotten a bunch of Toy World figures that are actually quite good and excellent in that respect, but not this one and not the not Optimus Prime that I have. I haven't reviewed him yet simply because he just falls apart when I try to stand him up. Overall, I can't recommend Spanner. It's not a bad figure. It's just a poorly put together figure. So gang, I hope you have enjoyed this video review. You can pick this figure up at BigBadToyStore.com or TheChosenPrime.com. As always, I am Bolt Matrix. I ask you to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.